if you use Network Manager, you probably use or have used at some point the Network Manager applet, a little system tray application for controlling Network Manager. And personally, I don't mind having system tray application to do this, but I know there's some people out there who aren't a big fan of this, or maybe they're using a tiling window manager like DWM, which doesn't come with a built-in system tray. And if you're using a tiling window manager anyway, you probably already have something like Rofi or Dmenu already installed. So how about we use one of those applications to manage our network? This is Network Manager Dmenu, and ignore the fact that it has Dmenu in its name, we can configure it to use Rofi instead. And just so everyone doesn't complain about the font size, I have gone and addressed that. Now the main thing I want to do with something like Network Manager is control whether I have a network connection. So all of the connections available to your system will be listed right at the front here. In my case, I am just using Ethernet right now, and the connection I'm using is this wired connection one. Anything with the equal sign on it is the one that you are using. Now I don't know why Network Manager thinks I have two Ethernet connections, because I don't. Now that's not a problem with this application itself, this is just reading in whatever data Network Manager gives it. So there's something going on somewhere else on my system. If I want to go and disconnect from this connection, we can just go and select that. As we can see, we have a notification saying I'm not connected anymore on the Network Manager applet. It says I have no network connection. If we go back into that and then reselect it, now my connection is back. One weird thing about not using Wi-Fi and not having a Wi-Fi card in your system is Network Manager still maintains a Wi-Fi state. It knows if the Wi-Fi is enabled or disabled. Now in the system tray applet, that option isn't exposed to you because why would it be? You don't have a Wi-Fi card. In Network Manager D menu though, the option is going to be there and you can go and set it. Obviously without a Wi-Fi card, nothing can be connected to, but just know it is going to be there. But when you do have a Wi-Fi card, everything is going to be listed like you'd expect. Now, when you try to connect to a network, it's going to do it in kind of an unsafe way. So we're going to be able to type our passphrase, but Dmenu and Rofi don't actually have pin entry systems built into them, so you can actually see what you're writing. That's probably not what you want to do. So what I'd recommend doing is modifying config and setting a pin entry application. This is located in .config slash network manager dash D menu and then config.ini. Now this config is not generated by default, but it is available over on the GitHub. So there's a bunch of different pin entry applications out there, but one common one is something like pin entry QT. So if we go and run this again, go and select that network, now it brings up this application and when we type stuff, it doesn't automatically show everything we're typing. Obviously, if someone is looking at your keyboard, that's a little bit different, but at least there is something here so your password isn't directly on the screen. One thing you will notice though is when you put in the wrong password, Network Manager tends to have a really bad habit. A bad habit of saving that incorrect result and not letting you try to reconnect. This isn't just a problem with this application, it's a problem with the applet and basically everything that works with Network Manager. It's a really weird flaw with the application, not sure why it's there. What you need to do if you enter the wrong password is go into delete connection and then select the connection you want to delete. Once you've done that, then you can go and reconnect and everything works like you'd expect. Now, if you really want to use Dmenu or Rofi to do your pin entry, I will leave a link to Dmenu pin entry and Rofi pin entry in the description down below. Basically, they are forks of the application where it doesn't just show your password on the screen. Now, if at any point the connection you want to use isn't available inside of the list, what you can do is go over to rescan Wi-Fi networks. That'll go and scan the area to see if anything's available, and then hopefully if it is in range, it is going to now be in the list. Now any of the previous networks you've connected to will be saved under the Saved Connections tab. So if you don't want to dig through the list of things in your current area to find something you've already connected to, this is a way to go and do that. Now if you don't want to have these under a sub interface and instead want to have them on the main screen, what you can do is change list underscore save to true, go and save the config, and then instead of having that option there, they'll be listed in its place. Now any of this extra space you're seeing where there's nothing there, it's just an empty space, this is there to pan out the interface when you're using a reasonable font size to make it so everything isn't just crammed together. If you don't want to see that though and you want to disable that, that can be done by changing the compact option 
over to true. And for general usage, that's probably a better way to use the application, especially if you're using DMenu properly and you are, you know, actually typing and trying to search stuff like that. Now, much like the Network Manager applet, we're not using this to modify any of our complex networking settings like our DNS or anything like that. But like with the Network Manager applet, it does have an option to launch up an application that's good for that. That is the NM Connection Editor. So if we go over to the Launch Connection Manager, it's going to go and open up that application. Normally, this is packaged with the Network Manager applet, but on Arch Linux, there is a separate package called NM Connection Editor just for that application. If you don't want to use a GUI for that, we'd rather use NM2E instead. If we go into our config and then set the terminal option, in my case that being Alacrity, and then set GUI if available to false, when we run that same option, what it's going to do is launch NM2E instead. Now you do need to make sure you have NM2E installed, otherwise this isn't going to work. I know there are other applications for managing your network manager connections. But as of right now, there is no way to set that inside of this config. So you're limited to NM Connection Editor and NM2E, which isn't that big of a deal, but I would like some extra options. And it's not just Rothy and D menu that work. If you're using something like B menu over on Wayland, that's going to work fine as well. Basically, anything compatible with the D menu style of data, so one piece of data on every single line, which is a pretty basic format it's going to work with this application. And I mentioned at the start that you can use Rofi instead. If you want to do that, or you want to modify the way that DMenu is being launched, let's say using a different font or using different color, things like that, go and change the DMenu command option. In this case, we're using Rofi-DMenu, but you can configure it however you want. I don't know the Rofi option, so I'll leave that up for the Rofi guys. If we go and run this now, as we can see, it launches Rofi. Now, all of this stuff with the NM Connection Editor and NM2E could have been integrated into the D menu interface itself. I have looked at, I think maybe a year or so ago, a file manager built entirely around D menu. All D menu is, is an interface for selecting things. But I think it makes a lot more sense to basically just make it as simple as possible, like the network manager applet is, and then rely on the same sort of applications to do those more complex things, rather than rebuilding something that really doesn't need to be rebuilt. So if you're using Network Manager Applet and would rather have something that just integrates into your existing launcher, maybe give Network Manager D menu a shot and see if it does what you need. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Bear Pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T available basically anywhere. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me and... I'm out.